Being a high-profile MMA fighter brings with it a certain amount of exposure, and when you're living the high life and mixing with the various celebrities that with it, it's only natural that a few sparks will fly. For this video, we're going to take a look at some of the most famous cases of MMA fighters who dated a celebrity at any given point in their career. This is 10 UFC fighters who dated gorgeous celebrities. Luke Rockhold Luke Rockhold might have fallen hard on times in his MMA career, but when you take a step back and look at his time in public eyes as a whole, it's pretty easy to call him a big success story. Sure, he lost his belt at the hands of the last person on the planet Earth he'd want to lose it, Michael Bisbing, but with a deep and impressive resume, a successful modeling career, and plenty of money in the bank, this former middleweight champion is doing pretty well. And when it comes to his romantic life, though Rockhold was made to look a bit foolish after the embarrassing appearance on the popular show Millionaire Matchmaker, his dating record suggests that he's actually ahead of the curve. At one point, Rockhold was in a very public relationship with famed singer Demi Lovato, making his own entry on this list one of the more famous examples. The relationship didn't work out in the end and the pair split, but while it lasted, the pair were seen attending a wide range of events together, including UFC shows. For Rockhold, he will hope to get his fighting career back on track with the middleweight return against Paulo Costa, which, while certainly a bad stylistic matchup, could well produce some major results if he can, in fact, score the win. Roger Huerta Those who weren't there at the time might have a hard time believing it, but Roger Huerta was a real star during his prime years in the sport. Around 2007, Huerta was pushing himself into title contention at 155 pounds, beating the likes of Leonard Garcia and Clay Guida to set up a title eliminator against Kenny Florian. Indeed, he lost that fight in the end, and his career seemed to lose a lot of steam there onwards. But as far as this list is concerned, Huerta gets a spot due to a year-long relationship with that 70s show star Laura Prepon. Unfortunately, details are quite scarce when it comes to the year that Huerta and Prepon spent together, except for the length of the relationship and the fact it definitely happened. Brendan Schaub and Ronda Rousey Most people would agree that Brendan Schaub is not exactly the most likable character in mixed martial arts. These days, after a decent but underwhelming UFC run, he has turned his hand to comedy and podcasting, and by all accounts, both are going pretty well for him even if he's not showered in critical acclaim. But what some of you might not know is that Schaub during his time as a UFC heavyweight actually dated one of the most recognizable faces in the sport. Yes, that's right, Brendan Schaub and Ronda Rousey were once an item. Although their relationship was quite brief, what's really awkward here is that Rousey eventually moved on from Schaub to begin dating his fellow UFC heavyweight Travis Brown. And during both of their primes, the pair actually fought inside the cage and Brown winning by way of TKO in the first round. Not only was this fight a defeat at the hands of his ex's new boyfriend, but it was also a fight that caused Schaub to majorly rethink his place in the sport. He eventually retired from MMA after Joe Rogan gave him a good talking to on his podcast, and the rest is as they say history. Luke Sanders Luke Sanders might not be a name that is legitimately familiar to some of you, but he spent four years fighting in the UFC's bantamweight division, earning a record of 2-5. and five. Sure, it's not the greatest run on the surface, but his standout performance during this run saw him knock out the divisional legend Renan Barrow in a performance of the night winning showcase. During this time, Sanders actually dated the WWE superstar Becky Lynch, although the exact length of their relationship is unknown. Lynch, of course, is one of the most recognizable and highest paid wrestlers in the sport, having engaged in many notable rivalries over the years, including one with former UFC star Ronda Rousey. As far as Sanders and Lynch's relationship is concerned, they eventually broke up due to Sanders' desire to spend more time with his daughter and his inability to make that work with Becky's incredibly busy WWE schedule. Sanders eventually retired from the sport after his second consecutive defeat in 2021. Tito Ortiz you might expect that the Huntington Beach bad boy would make an appearance before too long on this list. Sure, these days, a lot of people see Tito Ortiz as something of a joke due to his inability to string a coherent sentence together. But during the height of the golden era of the UFC, longtime UFC heavyweight champion Tito was just as recognizable as a face as any fighter in the company. With his trademark blonde hair and bad boy attitude, Tito became a breakout star during this time, finding strong crossover success at a point where the UFC were trying to cry out for big stars. And of course, he managed to get his fair share of attention from the ladies. With his most famous example coming in the form of a seven-year relationship with the adult film star Jenna Jameson. During this time, the pair had two kids, twin boys, and were without question the biggest power couple in the sport of mixed martial arts. In 2013, they decided to call it quits and broke it off there and then, with Tito then starting to date his current partner, Amber Nicole Miller.
Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. Live events are back, and that means that you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code WATCHMMA. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone, and it's by far the best and easiest way to buy tickets. Whether it's MMA events, concerts, baseball, basketball, football, festivals, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. UFC 276 is right around the corner and SeatGeek wants to make sure that you're getting a good deal, so look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Don't worry though, I've got the hookup. Use code WATCHMMA for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's spelled W-A-T-C-H-M-M-A with no spaces for $20 off your first purchase with our promo code WATCHMMA. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app and get the tickets with SeatGeek. Remember, if you're enjoying our content and want to see more, be sure to leave a like before subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. Chuck Liddell Chuck Liddell might seem like an incredibly scary individual on the surface, but by all accounts, he's a pretty nice guy in person. As Joe Rogan puts it, he just is a certain look in his eyes like a leopard seal, and that may come off as intense to some. But during the height of his fame, Liddell was actually dating fashion designer, television personality, musician, actress, and model Willa Ford between the years of 2004 and 2006. Ford actually had a brief stint on the second season of The Ultimate Fighter as a host, although Chuck was not coaching that year. During that two-year stunt, Liddell and Ford made several public appearances as a wide range of social events and ceremonies, which, of course, made him the target of quite a lot of paparazzi attention. After they broke up, the Iceman would go on to marry his current wife, Heidi Northcott, in 2010, and up to this point, the pair have two kids, a son and a daughter. Gina Carano it wouldn't be fair to limit this list to male fighters, and during the earliest days of women's mixed martial arts, there was no name in the sports that truly grabbed people's attention quite like Gina Carano. These days, she's certainly a divisive fighter. After losing a role in the Disney smash hit The Mandalorian following a series of controversial posts she made on social media. But even still, this doesn't erase her incredible work in the MMA cage during her fighting days. And as far as her placement on this list is concerned, she might have the most high-profile feather in her cap of all of them. About a decade ago, just prior to the release of the biggest film of her career at this point, Superman star Henry Cavill was dating Carano, the pair calling themselves an item at various points between 2012 and 2013. In the end, they eventually split, going their separate ways, with each party finding some real success in Hollywood in the process. Brendan Schaub Brendan Schaub once again makes an appearance on our list, this time for a relationship that was really only brought to light during an episode of his Fighter and the Kid podcast. According to Schaub and his guest on the podcast Whitney Cummings, the pair used to date in the past. Cummings is a very successful comedian and podcaster in her own right, and has made appearances on a wide range of the world's most popular chat shows including The Fighter and the Kid, The Joe Rogan Experience, and many more. While it's not totally clear when Schaub and Cummings dated, the two seem on good terms and were able to joke about the past quite openly when Cummings appeared on Schaub's show. Brian Ortega Now, perhaps this one is a bit speculative, but during the height of Brian Ortega's fame within the UFC featherweight division, he was seen as quite frequently in the public eye with an A-list actress, Halle Berry. According to both parties, she was hanging out with Ortega in preparation for a movie role in the MMA-centric flick, Bruised. But that didn't stop the media and fans from wondering out loud whether or not there was something else going on. We don't need to tell you that Brian Ortega is pretty popular with the ladies, and though these days he's spoken for given his relationship with his fellow UFC fighter Tracy Cortez, but who knows how far things went during his correspondence with the X-Men star Barry. Supposedly their training was quite brief due to a clash in their schedules, but T-City made a point of letting Halle Berry know that he was available to pick things up in the future whenever it suited on her end. Vitor Belfort and finally, we come to the legendary Vitor Belfort, a man who is MMA royalty in his home country of Brazil, a fighter who we've literally watched growing up inside the octagon. Debuting in the year of 1997, the Phenom would spend the next 21 years in the UFC, gifting us with some of the most memorable moments in the promotion's history. His wife Joanna Prado met Belfort in the year of 2000 and have been together ever since, making it the longest relationship we've covered on this list so far. Prado is a famous model and businesswoman and also from Brazil who has appeared in the Brazilian version of Playboy on three occasions, with one of them being the highest selling issues of all time. And after 22 years going strong with three children, it's clear that these two are as strong as a couple as can be. And that will just about do it for this video. Again, if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more, be sure to leave a like and a comment before subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest uploads. Thank you for watching.